Hey everyone, it's Ashley with Inquire Hire with another edition of Real Career Advice. And today, I have a question for you. Do you feel like you wasted your degree? Let's talk about it. We want to make sure you get a heads up when we drop new content for college and career advice. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. A not so uncommon occurrence is having second thoughts when it comes to your degree. Maybe your career requires more schooling after your bachelor's. Maybe you don't have time to go back to school right away and don't see the value in it. Or maybe you simply lost interest in your major and you're looking for a new opportunity or career path. We touch on this in our changing careers video, so check it out or save the link at the top of the screen. But whatever the reason is, you feel stuck and need a solution, fast. Let us first assure you that it's okay to feel that way. You wouldn't be the first and you won't be the last. We promise that those all-nighters, countless trips to the library, and your newfound caffeine addiction are not in vain. Your degree is still a ticket to a number of career possibilities and upward mobility. In these cases, you just gotta be a little more creative on how you use it. And of course, we are here to show you the way. So let's get into it. Our top three ways to make your degree worth it. Number one, transferable skills. One of the best things about college is learning skills that you can transfer to another field or use in real life situations. So remember that English class that you thought was useless? Most likely something from that class taught you a skill that you probably used to write your resume. Or let's say you studied accounting, but realized you don't want to work in a typical accounting firm setting. You probably have great attention to detail, good with money or numbers, or can operate well when things are organized in a certain order. Let's be real, every business needs some kind of accounting done. So that opens up so many industry options for you. Number two, the power of alumni. After you earn your degree, you have access to a huge network of alumni from your school. This is a great place to start building relationships, especially those who studied the same major. There may even be a local alumni chapter in your area, which would allow for deeper connections with a smaller group. You never know what friendships or opportunities can spark from meeting the right people. Some schools also offer services, discounts, and special events exclusively for their alumni. If you're ever concerned about the value of your degree, here's one that lasts a lifetime. Number three, the degree itself. Let's paint the worst case scenario with this one. You got into school as undeclared, picked a major at the last minute, socialized a little more than you needed to, and just kind of skated to graduation with the C's gets degrees mindset. Now you have this piece of paper and you wish you retained way more from your last four to five years. Well, it's not the end of the world, as it probably looks in your head. Your degree, despite your efforts, is still a degree, a credential that you earn that leads to higher employment opportunities compared to those who don't. Recent studies show that this was still the case after one year of the pandemic. So it's not too late to apply yourself and create a value of your degree through hard work. Thanks so much for checking out this episode. Which one of these options resonates most with you? Let us know in the comments below. As a reminder, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos and interviews. Again, my name is Ashley from Inquire Hire, and until next time, take care.